Welcome to our continuing YouTube video series on employment law. My name is Christopher Neufeld of Neufeld Legal. And in this particular video, we're going to be discussing the importance of looking at new and innovative strategies for dealing with your termination and severance package. And what I'm talking about is you got to question whether or not you want to simply defer to the basic standardized procedure of sending a demand letter and possibly effectuating a lawsuit on very standardized terms. Because what you must remember is that in most cases, especially when you're dealing with larger companies, their lawyers, whether it's in-house legal counsel or it's their large law firm outside and their employment lawyers, they typically have seen these standardized forms, standardized applications coming to them. And they don't see it as all that much. They might increase their payment out to yourself slightly, 10, 20, 30%, if that, based on the demand letter, they might not. They might expect you first to file the lawsuit incur the cost, knowing it is quite likely that you might not pursue that. They put in place those ominous threats of, we're going to pursue costs against you if you file this, so on and so forth. And you people start to wonder, is it well worth my while? And since they're large and since they want to at the same time impress upon not only you, but the lawyers for employees that they are harsh, they're not going to take it sitting down, and they're going to make a point of stuff, that they come to a very agreeable compromise from their perspective, such that you might initiate something, but their objective is to limit it in most circumstances to a very small increase. And that's what they're going to give. And that's what you take and you walk away from it. So what do you need to be looking at? Well, what we suggest and what we've been looking at is finding innovative ways that are not in the norm or at least not standardized to approach these matters. Because only by taking on those actions, if the facts and circumstances allow, can you really put pressure on your former employer? The only way that employers and their lawyers are willing to make a substantive payout is if they are substantively impact, if there is pressure put on them and the costs are gr far greater than not settling with you. So there has to be something that, some type of hook that brings them in and says, you need to settle for the kind of cost that we're looking for and on the kinds of arrangement that is being put forth by my lawyer because there is far more cost to yourself than to proceed through to litigation. As well, the approach needs to be more expedited. And what do I mean by that? Oftentimes what happens with lawsuits is they can tend to be long drawn out processes where they proceed on a lengthy scale going through discovery, document production, questioning, motions, mediation, trial preparation, trials, even appeals, that the process is well drawn out. If your lawyer has a method with which to advance the process more rapidly, get their attention more rapidly, really put some pressure on them, there is the potential to expedite the process. So instead of it taking years, you could potentially cut it down to months. And that is what you need to be looking at. Is there this 
kind of strategy available to yourself. It might not be available. The facts drive it. The lawyer drives it. The opportunities drive it. But there may well be opportunities if you're innovative and you break away from the same standardized process that all too many lawyers and their employee clients pursue. So you really want to consider whether or not such an opportunity exists for yourself to pursue this. Now, we're not going to be able to go into specifics of that because that is something that we hold very tightly. But we are nevertheless willing to entertain your calls and determine if there is an opportunity for us to work with yourselves to take advantage of certain innovative approaches where the facts and circumstances allow us to to appropriately challenge termination and severance packages in a way that we believe would enable you to secure a far greater return in a far shorter amount of time and at far less cost to yourself. And naturally, we believe those three elements are critical to anybody who's wanting to pursue such action. It nevertheless is a different approach to challenging termination and severance packages that are received by employees. But as you would see from how we look at it, there is some innovation, some approaches that allow you to pursue these angles where the circumstances allow, the facts allow, and you can make significant inroads and potentially get far greater results. Naturally, ours is but one of the means you could pursue, but it is one that we would suggest it is worth your looking into because it may be preferable to another approach that someone else might do that is does not have as great a potential of getting the kind of return that we believe we can get, reducing the time frame and reducing the costs to yourself. So we trust you found this YouTube video informative and we thank you for taking the time and should you inquire, please contact us and we'll look to present to you our approach to dealing with these matters as they relate to termination and severance packages that are oftentimes well underpaid.